guys, alright so I've just released a brand new product, it's 100 tileable displacement patterns and this is going to allow you to quickly detail simple geometry or add more complex surface detail to your 3D objects and as you guys can see over there there's actual additional tutorial content so instead of me just giving you a bunch of resources that you guys can start using in your projects right now I actually thought I want to add a little bit more value to this package and equip you guys with the knowledge as well to actually create your own packs so you'll see from start to finish how I actually create these tileable patterns we'll be doing it two ways using 3d geometry and then the other way is going to be completely procedural using substance designer so if you guys have never used substance design as well I'll be in introducing you just quickly into the program we'll be jumping straight into creating that tileable hex pattern that you guys saw uh, quickly in the video uh, but yeah I'm giving you guys the resources and the knowledge as well. I just feel that that adds a lot more value to what you guys are actually going to get your hands on instead of me just giving you the resources. So it's a win-win situation. You get the resources that you guys can start using right now and you're going to have the knowledge as well. So I'm using ZBrush uh, 2018. So I would recommend that you guys at least have access to ZBrush 4R7 and you want to make sure you've got Substance Designer 2017.2.1 if you want to follow along with the video tutorials anyway there's 100 of these bad boys it's a mixed bag there's some abstract patterns which was actually the main focus uh, but there's also more practical stuff like environmental displacement patterns and stuff for fabrics there's hex patterns you'll see it's just a mixed bag of goodies that you guys can start using so I hope you guys enjoy this product I actually had a lot of fun making this I worked really hard putting this together and I hope you guys find this useful and like I said at the end of this you are actually going to have the knowledge to create your own as well so what's there not to look forward to I hope you guys enjoy this package check the description or check the top comment or the pinned comment to find a link to the product all right so there's 10 categories of displacement and this entire pack actually started out by me creating these abstract and artistic patterns because I saw just a bunch of these really awesome uh, tileable patterns on Pinterest for architecture and I wanted to basically replicate that by creating a bunch of really artistic and, and abstract patterns so you can see there's quite a variety of them that's in, included over here and then these were probably my favorite to create these scales um, I really enjoy creating them I actually use some of this on some clothing uh, I actually have a preview image over here there's a bomber jacket that I created and I applied it, some of those scale uh, scales onto the bomber jacket. So you can see there's a lot of different ways that you can use this. You can use it with clothing or simple, uh, simple geometry. It's completely up to you guys how you're going to go ahead and use this. And that's why I'd love to see what you, what you actually do with this pack. So you can see some of this can be scaling for fish, dragons, uh, snakes, maybe even uh, plating, like plating for a character. Uh, this started in knurling. I don't know what it is about this knurling pattern that you see over here, but it just looks aesthetically pleasing. And then there's some more studded uh, patterns that you see over here. And then the infamous hex pattern, the honeycomb pattern, you can see I created some variations of that. There's a category for Boolean tileable patterns. Now these were created with the intention of creating an indentation in your mesh or a subtraction. So that's their primary focus there's some checkerboard patterns over here that I wanted to include as well some dotted displacement patterns which I thought was also quite different um, there's some there's a lines category and some of this looks cool like this displacement over here could be used to quickly detail a rope I was actually trying that uh, earlier for detailing a rope and then there's a lot of these uh, really cool fabric displacements like interwoven patterns and weaves that you can see over here basket weaves uh, which which also I had a lot of fun creating and obviously is more which I, what, what I would consider to be really practical is the environment stuff like there's a tileable rock uh, displacement some tufted leather there's almost like some space plastic damaged tiles cracked soil damaged wood and some ceiling and floor uh, patterns that you see over there so it's a mixed bag of tileable displacements that you guys can start using right now in your projects and I had a lot of fun putting this together and definitely any new displacements that I'll create I'll just add it to this package completely for free so keep that in mind and yeah you've got a large library to start out with that you can start using right now in your projects 
All right, so I'm really looking forward to see how you actually use these displacements. And over here, you can actually combine displacements with normal maps to get more detailed patterns. So I thought that was a nice inclusion. And if you don't want to use displacement, you can always use the normal map or you can use the displacement as a bump map in your scene. But obviously, I created this with the purpose of using displacement so that it displaces that geometry to basically give you this really awesome looking 3D geometry in your scenes. And just to show you guys, this is what I would cons uh, consider a simple geometry being detailed really quickly. It was just a bunch of tubes overlapping each other. I was trying to create a snake, but then I decided to use some other pieces of displacement in the scene. And it just gave me some varied results. Like this was the sci-fi space plastic and cracked tiles. So you can see you can get really creative with this and see how you actually use it. And I would love to see how you guys use this. So feel, feel free to actually uh, show me examples. You can link them uh, in the description or message me on my email to show me how you guys are actually using this. Anyway, thank you so much for the support on this channel. I truly appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And I hope you guys enjoy this package and you find it useful. Stay tuned for some more videos and tutorials. And goodbye.